It's going to get noisy this year on Optimal Play because we are starting a campaign of Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated tonight. So Clank is a modern classic deck building game where you buy cards, use them to get down into a dragon's dungeon, get as much loot as you can, and get the hell out while you're still alive. Legacy, if you haven't heard of them yet, is a type of game where we are going to be thrashing this game over the course of a campaign. Riding on it, ripping up cards, sticking stickers, generally changing it as we go. And Acquisitions Incorporated is a penny arcade comedy bit about adventurers who uh, form a corporation trying to get loot. So expect lots of fantasy adventurers, dragons, and office lingo. Speaking of which, I brought three interns here to play with us. Jen, thanks for joining us tonight. Oh boy, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Very excited to be here. <laughs> you did so good. <laughs> is this the part where I talk about myself? Yeah, we... Oh boy. <laughs> Jen was I did ask to not go first for this spot, I do believe. <laughs> Jen was instructed to look at the camera and talk for a few seconds so that we could put her name below her. Yes. I think she did great. I <laughs> think I did pretty good too, I gotta say. Uh, Definitely better okay, than I ever dreamed. It's been long enough. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> I, all right, I want to go. I want to do over at the end, just in case if I want it. You go next. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Ryan, welcome back. Thank you, Brandon, for that marvelous introduction. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here and excited to make some noise. <laughs> See, Jen, that's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> and, it is. And we've somehow convinced you to come back, too. I don't so. know why. Um, I'm happy to be back, um, even though we still haven't finished the other campaign. <laughs> We're getting through Arkham Horror. We're getting yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably get through this first. Sorry, guys. <laughs> One day you'll reach the mountaintop. One day. One day. Uh, so, if you'll permit me to awkwardly lean down for a second. There is an opening letter. Oh my god. Okay, yes. read that. It's on Acquisitions Incorporated letterhead. It says, to all who adventure, greetings. I am Omen Dran, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. I am, if I do say so myself, something of an aspirational figure. And then some. And maybe even a little more. Not much, though. The correct amount. Hmm. Have you always wanted to see faraway lands? Unearth immense treasure? Carefully document that treasure and then send it away for your superiors? And then, years after, become curious as to its whereabouts? Then I have an incredible offer for you. At Acquisitions Incorporated, we are always on the lookout for new franchisees who are excited to operate a capable, profitable, Legally Distinct Adventuring Group. Cool. Cool. This is an excellent opportunity. It's not, it's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is an excellent opportunity for any up-and-coming party as participants in our new Interplaner Initiative. You will earn far greater glory and face far greater danger than you're able to as independent operators. Plus, it's so easy to get started. The region beyond our commerce portal should be in dire need of adventurers. Befriend the citizens, build our brand, and prove to them that you are a valuable part of their community. Be the heroes they pay by being the heroes they need. Couldn't be easier. Go forth, be bold, and acquire. That's a new one I'm trying out. I think I just inspired myself. Regards, Aminifus Heroward Dran, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Cool. Cool. We have a franchise charter to sign. Oh my god. <laughs> Lots of paperwork. Yeah, <laughs> like I love this. <laughs> this charter establishes a formal Acquisitions Incorporated adventuring company, hereafter a company, franchise in or about the town of blank, to be staffed by the following resident adventurers, hereafter employees. What are we naming the town? That's New Clankton. New Clankton? Is everyone cool with that name that we invented? Or Los Clanchelas? <laughs> That's a little one that just came to me. I, I, I kind of like Lost I Clanchelis. I love that. Lost, <laughs> say it again. I absolutely Lost Clanchelis. Yeah. It's Lost it's Clanchelis. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's it's, that's going on the charter. Spell And it goes on the board. Want me to write it on the board, yeah. Bridge? Ooh, yeah. Good luck writing on the board. From that angle. From that angle. But Oh! Uh, challenge accepted. <laughs> Feel free to move the characters. Here I go. Here Jesus. I go. Ryan, would you spell Clanchelis for me? C L. A N K G E L E S. I guess I don't know what I expected. Lost Clanchulus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, one's brain doesn't work that well. <laughs> At a 90 degree angle. This is going. 
Swimmingly, yes. Okay. You're almost there. I'm trying to help you. I know, I know, I know. Good job! Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> It's like a five-year-old wrote it, but hey, <laughs> you, got it, you got it there. So because this charter has a column on it that says roll, and I have no idea what that means, I'm thinking I got ahead of ourselves. I think we, we read away? the prologue for game one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. It's in the yeah. snazzy book of secrets. Oh it's my god. Seal. Yay! So... We're not gonna actually play yeah. the game today. No, no. So this, we're doing it. This is the first of our three video series where we just open things. things. I love opening things. It's my little yeah. Christmas. But Jen open uh, our Christmas gift. Yeah, this would you? It would be an honor. <laughs> God gave All you right. those game chain nails for a reason. <laughs> just give me your trash. Um, and then while you while you're there, why don't you open it up and read entry number one, which oh, is our prologue? Which would be an honor. Ah, adventuring. Oh, should I? Here. This book contains the story of the campaign. Read it only when directed. Well, we're we'll directed it. to read number one. Great. Ah, adventuring. It's a lifestyle for the phenomenally skilled or the truly desperate, or, in your case, those who are a little of both. You hope to become the newest franchise of Acquisitions Incorporated, the famed adventuring for hire conglomerate. But first, you have to build a personal brand with good local recognition. To do that, you might have to dot 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 help the citizens. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it says ugh. I didn't add that. I'm not a monster. <laughs> Choose a name for the old roadside inn your group has turned into your HQ. Write that name in the banner on your franchise board. Done and done. Uh, actually, no. We named Los Clangeles. That's not the inn. No, that banner on the inn. It's talking about putting it there. See what's oh. right here. On the, this is our franchise board. So what is our? So it says oh, there's a little bit of. <laughs> more info, which is the prancing pony is not recommended for legal reasons, but technically we can't stop you. <laughs> so if we're feeling Lord of the Ringsy. What about we could call Ramada it... Sweets? No, <laughs> that's certainly a copyright issue. You're right. An inn or a motel, like oh, uh, I think it said it's an inn. Roadside Inn, old Roadside Inn, call it Old Town Inn. Old Town Road Inn. Old Town Road Inn. <laughs> Old Town Roadside Inn. <laughs> and buffet. Well, <laughs> what would be the name of an inn in Los Clanctulas? Oh, that's a that's good a idea. point. The Beverly Hills. Clankton. The Beverly <laughs> Clankton. <laughs> the Beverly Clankton's not bad. Yeah, the Rev yeah. Like oh, God. Beverly Clankton. The Beverly Clankton? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. All right. Uh, N? <laughs> there is no way I can spell any of that. I um, I know I really sure. I really set the bar high for good handwriting. Okay, so it's the. We're gonna, I can yeah, start with that. T-H-E. <laughs> Space. The. B-E-F. B E E R L I. Yeah. B E F. What? Yeah, B E F. Beverly. <laughs> helping her spell Beverly here. <laughs> oh my God. B E V. What's wrong with my brain? B E F. <laughs> <laughs> the Beverly. <laughs> I just made up a new letter, which is F. <laughs> I got what you meant. There you go. Clank. Clank. T L. Ink. <laughs> it's Clankton, right? That's what yes. we decided to get to. Yes. Oh, my C God. L A N K T O N. Yes. Don't put that in the, the middle. The Beverly Clankton. Oh, my God. All right. I was going to think I'm an adult. <laughs> Jen, I think you had more reading. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Can I help you? All right, here we go. Second bullet point. Locate the town in the top center of the Overworld game Done. board. Give it a name as well. Okay. Did that. We got ahead of ourselves and did that. All right. Lost Clangelis. Great. Okay. The greatest danger facing you is the dragon Malathrex, a powerful creature who lords over the area and all the people in it. Fortunately, his followers are far less intimidating, a small but resilient cult with a thing for weird poetry and giant reptiles. Kids today. <laughs> A good haul now will look great on your application to the Acquisitions Incorporated mm. Home Office. Good luck! Fetch the mission reports document. Fill in your names and character names, then keep it nearby for the end of the game. Okay, so we have this handy dandy mission reports document. Sweet. Um, what color does everyone want to be? Because that decides what column we write our names in, and I feel like this is a big decision. 
Uh, blue? Anne. What's your name going to be? Oh, Anne wanted blue. I did want blue. She didn't have blue. I also wanted blue. <laughs> Damn you! You don't mind This might red. be an awkward it's time to say it. I also <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'm here. I will be red. None okay. of the pawns have a color, so I, know. I don't care. Uh, we're going to fix that. Oh. The color thing. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, oof. Yellow. <laughs> that leaves me green and in blue? Yay! All right. Uh, and then we're going to need our adventurer names. Mm. I want to be Harold Stylish. Wait, do we know which? Ooh. Right? It's pretty good. So is that like the cousin of Billie Eilish? No, it's related to <laughs> so, Styles. I, I don't know if this. I don't know if this was inspired by one of those miniatures, but I can Very see which one is Harold Stylish. Like, which one? Which no, one? He, he clearly is. Yeah. This one? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna paint that 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 coat red. <laughs> <laughs> paint the town red. Uh, we, do we know which one we are? Uh, we, can, we can choose. I think we can just choose. We, uh, There's no instructions that we, um, you know. I, I'm guessing it will tell us to choose at some point, but I'm okay with us choosing because I think that our names will be inspired by whether we're a gnome or a dwarf or what. Who do you want to be, Anne? Um, there's a, there's there's a little Gim Gimli. Gimli. Yep. You could call him Legally, Gimlet. Legally just, yeah. <laughs> or, 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 or Gimlet. Or Gim Gimli. <laughs> like Gimlet. That's really funny. <laughs> um, we got Gimlet. We've got like a lass adjacent. Like a lass. I love that. And Bulbo. <laughs> and Bulbo. <laughs> are you just making these names up, or are they? Yes, I'm making them up. <laughs> okay. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing um, something. Um, I'll be. I, I, I could be either one of these, these depending I'll, on what. I, I like. I like the gnome. The gnome hobbit, whatever he is. All right. So that's Brandon. Uh, no, you you just took the dwarf and said that's Brandon. <laughs> but the, the gnome is the, is the cute the little one, one with the okay. knives Ryan, on the box. Ryan, which one of those ones do you want? I'll take whichever one's left over. <laughs> I want to be the elf. Do you oh, think so? That you're Gimlet? I'm Gimlet. I'll, I'll let you fill that oh, into the blue I don't column. I want to write it. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I finally get to redeem myself after writing all this question. After yeah. doing this and saying, saying Beverly is spelled B E M. But for consistency, we're going to make you write it at a 90 degree angle while no. creating your arm around the major. Absolutely not. I have it. Okay. I know my name. Doop, boop, 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 boop. What is it? I remember everything already. Yeah. It's. Elfton John. Oh, wow. 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 That's good it. work. Good work. We got those. Characters are built. Mm -hmm. What else we got? I forgot I was in charge here. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> Fetch the player deck boxes and distribute them. Fill in your character names. Okay. Uh, I Remember think to check off the progress you make toward your personal goals during each game. Right, so oh, so there's a name tag spot on top of the box. Mm. So good luck writing uh, well on that. Harold Stylish, I'm not going to fuck this up this time. Jen, you wrote Jen again. <laughs> you write Jen? <laughs> what are you writing? No, you write Harold. Right, Harold. <laughs> okay. Bulbo. All right. <laughs> So what it was talking about also on this box, one side has personal goals, where I think they're different for each of us. We are trying to, we over the course of the campaign, do the things on here and check off these boxes. So you can take a look at what they are. They're different for each person. What else we got, Jen? Okay. Um, fetch card 001 from the card porium. Place it in the contracts row. Oh, okay. So we have the card porium. A contract. Yes, it is the card porium. That is where we get cards when we cool. need them. Cool. The contract is called Meet the Locals. It says when a player ends their turn on the castle at the center of the map, um, oh, I see it there. Read number 19 in that book. Great. So we're going to start a contract row up here. Okay. Um, retrieve an artifact and return it to HQ in order to complete your application. Okay. And that's, okay. that's it. And so. Oh, I was just going to say, so that's the normal goal of Clank, is to get an artifact and get out. So it sounds like that's also the goal here. Great. Okay, that's it? That's it, and then it moves on to two, but I guess I don't know. No, read don't that. read yeah. two. Okay, uh, I, I think. Is HQ the Beverly Clankton, or is it the Castle on the Hill? I think it's the, the Beverly Clankton, which is the spot we're on right now. Okay, right. And, okay, yeah. so you know what? This franchise charter, I think we don't need this at all. It says that we have to do this to complete our application, so that's for later. Great. All right, let's play Clank. Um, 
we should probably open these boxes because we don't have cards yet, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I Let's have a card to my name. Oh and oh and oh it's cubes. got our cubes. Oh and a thing for the oh, thing. Oh and a yes, a thing for the oh, thing. Oh, that's how we know what color we are. Yeah, so take your color and put it on the base Thank of your you. miniature. Now what? Now uh, your oh you've already pulled out your cards. I'm just unwrapping oh. mine. Uh, this looks like the classic starting clank deck. Cool. Okay. Does everyone remember how to play clank? Yes. Yes. Good. It's like that, but different. Uh, instead of being in a dungeon, we are adventuring through these lands, starting in Lost Clankulus, or starting in the Beverly Clankton, rather. Mm. Uh, there's a few differences. Remember those crystal caves where you'd have to stop moving? Yes. Um, there's forests on the map, they function the same. Gotcha. I guess that's not really a difference, that's the same. Mm. But <laughs> differences are there are, instead of minor secrets on the board there are these just they're the small question marks and every time someone enters those they get a minor secret from the bank there's also uh the items are a little different and there's only crowns available to buy and there's canoes available you can buy them in any of these towns and you can see that there are seven the seven gold reminder that that's where you buy things oh my goddamn canoe canoes are what let you go on these watery tracks you yeah. can't you can't use these without a canoe cool um, boots work the same way on the map, where if there are two footprints, it takes two boots to move along that track, but there are sometimes three footprints, and then that will take three boots to move along that track. What's that all about? Oh, this is never a classic callback. Yeah, callback, uh-huh. For all our Clank fans. Uh, you can hire coaches from spaces that look like this. I just see two of them. Uh, here you can spend a boot to move to any other coach location from here, which just means from here over to that one, it looks like. Which, now that I explain this, isn't all that different because Clank used to let you kind of wrap around to the other side of the board anyway, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, there are these little mystic circles on some spaces. They do nothing. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I assume that at some point the rules of the game will change so that they do something. What about question mark spaces that aren't these question mark spaces? Those are the ones where you get a minor secret from so the bank. what are the big question mark spaces? Those, just like regular Clank, are major secrets and you pick that up. And then there's... and then. People who come in after you don't get anything. I see. There are also a few spaces that just have a a number on them, like that one. Uh, we read that passage in the book the first time someone enters there. Cool. And something may happen. Okay. And I don't remember seeing anything about it in the rule book, but I assume that you just cannot travel at all on these roads to nowhere. <laughs> I'm guessing that someday they will go somewhere, not this day. All right. We ready? Oh, yes. Right, since you're starting, just like regular Clank, you put three Clank into oh, no. the onto the board over there. I'm going to put in two, and Anne will put in one. Oh, I got to pick my cards here. Yeah, go ahead and give your deck a quick shuffle. All right, everyone got your opening hand? Yep. Everyone excited? Woo! I'm really excited. I'm alive. Ryan, you're up. I'm up. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to start this turn making some noise for Ew. that dragon. Two stumbles. That sweet, sweet dragon. I got two stumbles in the bag, and I have three skills to buy and one boot. So with my one boot, I'm going to go ahead and move into Lost Clanktulas and explore a card, which is two skill and a boot. What's that a boot? <laughs> that kills. Is that all a boot? That. That's never going to get old. No, it's not. All right. I also stumble twice. Here you go, in. And I just have a sidestep for a boot. If you could move me, I'm green. Move me to Lost Clankulus. Welcome. Thank you. And I have two skill. I'm looking at the synergy card. It looks pretty good. Cool. It says, one skill, one sword. Trash a card in your play area or discard pile. If you trash a stumble, you get plus two clank. And I'm in. I'm, I'm in. I'm done. Fill this, right? Oh, yes, thank you. Dragon attack. Uh, yes, the dragon attacks, and the rival adventurer has danger on it. Pull plus one cube, so throw all that clank in the bag. And I'm drawing out three. I could be out of the game right here. I won't be. There's no chance I'll be out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the quietest person here. Uh, well, one, one on Ryan. Uh, could you put that on his track? Let's not start at death. <laughs> That's where I like to start. Just I have one stumble. Okay. Oh, which is over here. I'm a little disheveled. 
Uh, and then I have one side step, if you don't mind moving me over. And then I have three burgles. I'm gonna go with the companion uh, consultant. Okay. All right. And that's it for me. Dragon attack again. Oof. Jeez. Ah. Save from that, that shit again, how to say. <laughs> it's not gonna be me. And How many plus, am I drawing? Two? Uh, three. Plus, yeah, plus one. So three. <laughs> Ow! Green and blue get hit. Yeah. Uh, I just remembered. Does the know, black go back in the back? Uh, no, it's put on the table. I just remembered we have that contract to go to the castle. That's what this is for, as a reminder. Could you put this on the castle? Oh, sure. Lovely. Okay, it is my turn, I do believe, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you come after Anne. First things first is I stumble twice, wow. so I'll finally start doing something here. And now I have one boot and three, what's the blue again? What's it called? Skill? Three skill. So I'm going to move one. You're I think good. I might do the deep crow runt in a mercenary. Thank you. Okay. I have one side step. So I will move to this lovely scenic land. And then with my four skill remaining, I will purchase this freelance rogue. No dragon attack for once. <laughs> I have five skill and a boot. Would you move Bulbo in green one space, please? Sure. Thank you. And with five, nothing out here is all that expensive. Rich as hell. I know. Uh, these twin scimitars look good. They just have two skill and two swords. It's nice to have two, because if you lose one, you still have a sword. Hmm. It's good logic. Can afford this card. Blank the helpful NPC. <laughs> it says, acquire, fill in one blank space on this card. Oh, bad. His name is blank, his alignment is blank, his talent is blank, his personal item, and his quote. I'm... Gonna fill in his talent as tripwire testing. If I, see, if I see a trap, I send him into it to see what happens. Does that come into play or is it just for fun? I think it's just for fun. <laughs> I don't know that for a fact. Yes. Uh, okay, and he gives me one of everything when I play him. Um, that's it for my turn. The dragon's gonna attack on that sapphire. Those go in. Let's draw some red cubes. Get, get Jen on the board. Uh, one green cube. Not today. Hurt myself. <laughs> so we're talking shit about me. <laughs> Damn it. I will never learn my lesson. Alrighty. I have one stumble. I have one shuffle to the boot. What? <laughs> that, that wasn't. Are you blue? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, you want to shuffle to the boot. Shuffle my boot. Shuffle. Use the boot to shuffle. It's fine. Oh, the next time someone goes here, we get to read the two? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then that gives me four. All right, let's just do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wow. do the sapphire um, with two clients. I think All right. Fine. Big points. This ring of invisification says arrive, put three black cubes back in the bag. Here you go, bag holder. Thank goodness. Uh, Jen, you're up. This is minus two clank or plus two clank? Minus. Sorry. Minus. From the bag or from the clank area? Just from the clank area. That's all you need to buy. Every time or just when you get picked up? Every time. Every time you play it. <laughs> I'm going to buy that. All and right. it has two skill and a boot on it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, the first thing is I have one side step. So I'm going to move further into the map here. Welcome to Glorious oh, Van Nuys. She is a little drunk. And Van clank. Van clank. I've got four points, and I'm going to buy this thing. Ring of Invisification. Yes, Ring of Invisification. Anything else for you on your turn? No, that was it. That's all I had. All right, no dragon attack. That's all she wrote. Schmoke bomb. I smoked a pancake. Oh boy, knew that was coming. You <laughs> <laughs> would teleport to an adjacent space. Trash this card. You knew that was coming. I knew what? Ryan was gonna say as soon as he said smoke. I knew he was gonna say smoke in a pancake. I don't right even get afterwards. it. It's a classic Austin Powers. Bong in a blitz. Smoke in a pancake. 
Oh, that's right. A pipe and a crate? Need more wine for this? Yeah. It's your turn. Um, I got a clank. And then I have one, two, three, four skills and one boot. Cool. So I think I'm going to set all my skills first because when I enter there, I'm going to read a page and mm -hmm. I don't want to forget. So four skills. Mercenary and yeah. mercenary. Yep. Two mercenaries. Two, Two mercenaries. Cool. And All right, where are you moving? Uh, so I only have one option to mm -hmm. move to this forest space, which means I'm stuck in the forest. Yep. But that's fine because I have something to read. Yeah. Here's the book of secrets. <laughs> While you're hanging out in the forest, you just get it. Here's some reading material. Some light reading material. <laughs> Outside a forest trading post, a wild-eyed man in ragged clothing is proclaiming the end of the world to a few a few of Malathrex's cultists. It's out there. I've seen it. Oblivion is coming, I tell you. It rises like a... He makes a little gesture with his hands, indicating the doom. Oh. It's like this, kind of. <laughs> One cultist takes the bait. Guy, old man, listen. This is why you should worship dragons. They handle stuff like... This is very wooden. Um... <laughs> And if the dragon eats you, it's sort of what you expect anyway, right? His fellow, <laughs> his fellow's not in agreement. The madman is about to respond, then abruptly winks out of existence. Whoa, he's a witch! Whoa! Oh, holy Burn holy. her! Disappearing in a sudden flash of inky blackness after a stunned... I bet he got the, the smoke bomb. Yeah, I bet. After a stunned moment, the cultists seem, the cultists seem to decide that they've won the argument. You're not sure it works like that, but, <laughs> but they seem quite pleased with themselves. Advance the rage level by one. Ooh, the dragon gets madder. Ah! Fetch cards 002 to, through 003 from the cardporium and place them in the contract row. Ooh, okay. Uh, the new contracts we got are Return to Blank. When a player with an artifact enters the town space next to HQ, so it's returned to Lost Clankton from the sound of it. Lost Clankton. Yeah, it says yeah. fill in the name of the first town on return to contract. So. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, when that happens, we will read number 40. And it says in parentheses, don't wait for the end of the turn. <laughs> and then if this game ends first, before reading the epilogue, read number 43. Oh, so like if we, if we all if die. No one makes it back. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And discomfort coaches. Players can't travel by coach. I guess as long oh, as wow. this contract is out. When a player ends their turn on a coach space, read number 178. Cool. Cool. So write Lost Clankton cool. on there. Lost Clankulus. Yeah. That's right. And that goes on Lost Clankulus. Okay. Should we put these on the vehicle spaces? Uh, that's a great idea. Yeah, throw those on there. Okay. Go to sticker sheet A, group four. Oh. You Stick should give sheets. it to Jen, it's her passion. There is a large envelope oh my God. called Sticker Sheets. Sticker Sheet A? Sticker Sheet A, Group 4. These go from A through M. There's a lot of stickers, Jen. <laughs> Switching. Oh boy, I get to do it? Yeah, okay. wait, wait, wait till he says what to okay. do. Okay. <laughs> Apply a one coin. Okay. Um, so that's from group four. Uh -huh. On waypoint two, which is, is that this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so like cover up the two with yeah. that coin. Oh. And now. So I was kind of wondering, like the next game would be. Yeah. And now. And, now people and, get a coin when they enter. And oh my god. I take one now, it says. Cool. Oh. Lucky you. Did I give this back to you, Brandon? Yeah, I'll hold on to that. <sighs> okay, that was it. Um, so we just met a. Madman talking about the end of the world, and then the cultist thought he was crazy, and he disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Very cool, and we have some new contracts. And we got a coin. We got some more rules. Well, you got a coin. Mm. Well, we're all about to get a coin. That's true. Uh, it's my turn? Yep. Yes. I'm gonna get a coin. Uh, I have two boots. One of them's gonna go to waste because they're of that forest, but if you would move me in there, please. Alrighty. I will take a coin. Uh, you're green. I'm gonna remember what everyone's color is yes. by the end of this. Uh, I stumble, so here's a clank. And then I have five skill and three swords, so I'm going to slay a monster. 
I could take five gold from the stone golem, but the major secret could be anything. It could even be five gold. So I'm doing that. I'm going to slay the random encounter table. All right. Uh, we don't have a trash pile yet, right? Let me just start one. I could take it and put it just over here. That's great. And the major secrets are right under your hands. Right here. I get five gold. Yay! <laughs> Broke even on that. Okay. And now I have five skill. I will take an explore for three. And herbology seems interesting. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get a mystic fruit. That's the one that says one skill plus and a boot. And then if you have any mystic fruit plus another two. Did you know a banana is technically an herb? Wow. This is something an herbologist would already know. Do you think that's true? I mean, if the flavor text says so, it must be, right? Yeah, you're right. Are you done? I'm done. Great. We got a smuggler. Uh, defeat minus, you get minus two clank. Hmm. And if you're in a town or square, you also get two points. That's nice. And we got town guard. I see an arrive effect. Arrive all players plus one clank. Oh, that sucks. If you're on a town space, draw a card is what you get if you buy it. Hmm. Okay. My turn. Yeah. And we're not on a town space. I have... Um, two steps uh two boots but i can't do that but i will take one forward great make sure you get a coin get and a one coin please so i'm going to take two mercenaries and that's it for me cool that's very nice i just looked at the flavor text on burgle and it says a very small theft is called a burglant not everybody knows that so I'm going to say don't believe the fun facts in any of this flavor text. <laughs> still wondering about that banana. Yeah, me too. Alrighty, I've got no clank. I have one sidestep, which I will enter the forest there with all you lovely people. Take your gold. And I want my gold, thank you. And I've got two swords and four skill. I could defeat the dragonling and I can get three, coin, uh, three coins out of it. I think I will do that. Great. So that I'll take that. Here's your three coins. Three? Oh yes. Okay. Three. And I've got four points to spend. I'm gonna get the smoke bomb and an explore. Thank you. And that's my whole turn. I got two boots and a notch. I'm at a fork in the road. Yeah, you're the first to make this decision. Are we supposed to Bring an artifact to this castle, or are we just supposed to go to the just castle? Just supposed to go there. Okay. Um, You're supposed to end your turn there. Well, I wish that I wasn't wasting a boot, but I think I'd rather go here with my two boots and stick around than, than take a damage the other way. Oh, yeah. Um, I get two coins, and then I have... Oh, that's a good card. This is a concealed dagger. And it's minus two clank, plus two attack, which is nice. Okay, I'll get that. I gained a sword mm -hmm. from buying the concealed dagger, and I'm going to use that to kill the rival adventurer, which takes off that added danger when we draw dragon attacks. And also, upon defeat, it gives me two coins, and I have to put a clank in. I is rich. Mine is rich. Um, well, wait, I'm richer, richer, but still. Is that check? our discard? John Jacob Baxter. John mm -hmm. Jacob Bryan. And one clank. Finished? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, is right. We're getting some more expensive cards. Dragon attacks. Uh, the dragon does attack. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ryan, you're just drawing two cubes. You're welcome, everybody. Please be Jen. Me. <laughs> Everyone talks shit about me. They pull their own cue. That's now happened twice. I can't really Let argue that with that. Let that be a lesson to you all. Okay, I stumble. So here's a clank for me, and then four burgles are. I have a decent number of companions, I think. So they're gonna buy me this freelance cleric which is a companion and gives two plus skill. If you have another companion in your play area, plus two more skill. Um, Part-time clerical work is the, oh, I see what they did there. Part-time clerical work is a cleric. 
Oh. All right. Uh, dragon attacks. Again? Again. That much. Seriously. Two bucks. Yay! It's my turn. Your turn. So I have a... Um, you may discard a card to draw two cards. So I'm going to discard my stumble. Wow. And that gains me two more cards. Two. And then I have another card, my sapphire, that says draw another card. Right? Right. So I draw another card. So that gives me one boot. I'm going to choose to follow Mr. Ryan. In there. And then that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five points. Well, five. Skill. Skill. I think that might have even it might even have a different name in Clank Legacy. I'll have to look later. We'll get it right next time. <laughs> I'm gonna do the emerald. Nice. You have a lot of points. We need to make sure you die. No, because <laughs> you guys have these points. So I'm I'm just mm. trying to understand <sighs> the game here. Yeah, who's counting though? I am counting. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. Okay, Jen. All right. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let me fill in this. I have a question. Yes. Um, if we get a canoe, yes, that costs seven, right? Does from a city, from a village. Yeah. But so, say we're in a village or whatever, and we have a canoe. Do we need a shoe to move? Uh, do need, do yes. Boot still? You still need a boot to move along the canoe. But the canoe tracks. just allows us to move in this direction. That's right. It doesn't auto move us. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's actually exactly like the keys mm -hmm. in regular clank. I have a stumble, so I'm going to add a clank. Thank you, Anne. And I've got one boot and four skill. I haven't been able to use any of my new cards yet. Mm, I guess I'll just go to the forest then. Man, you're leaving me to go to the the coaches, huh? You don't have to. I would do that if I no, no, it's if fine. I, it's if fine. I, if I could, I would, Brandon. I'll, I'll care. I'll do all the hair, all the heavy lifting around here. Thinking about that town guard. I'm just calling it a day. All right, I'm gonna do that. Here you go. Thank you. The next card is another bad guy, a dryad monster. Defeat this only on a forest space, and defeat you get two skill. Hmm. That's very nice. A lot of monsters out there. We need your uh, need your killing powers to happen. Dude. Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> it feels like a lot more monsters than than items compared to regular clank. Yeah, it might just be luck of the draw, or there might be more monsters. I'm not sure. Which... Did you shuffle that big pile before you I started? It okay. Very okay. intensely. No, I, I'm not. I'm just curious if it came like in a specific order or something. I've got a stumble, which is. Put a clank in. Oh, but then I'll take it back. I have minus two clank on my next card. <laughs> um, and then I have watch this. This is poetry. Okay, so I have two. I have four attacks. I am going to defeat the stone golem and get five points. Nice. And that leaves me with two attacks left which I will use to defeat the Dryad monster mm -hmm. for two skills. Since you're in a forest. Yep. And then I will add that... Fuck! Oh, no! That adds up. <laughs> then I will add that two skill to these two skills and this one that I forgot about. <laughs> and then I have five skills, and I'm going to buy this awesome card, the Vorpal Sword, which gives me three attack. And if you generate an additional three attack or more this turn, I get plus one clank and five coins. That's pretty awesome. That's know. a great turn. Whew. A lot of breath. That was a lot of fighting. <laughs> um, that's it. That's my turn. Yay. Okay. Three cards. So I'll bet you the dragon's going to attack. Oh, a triple boot. What's that all about? It's a flying broom. Oh, man. Quidditch. Expensive. Two boots, three swords, and five skill. Um, that feels like I can get a lot done here. Why don't I go ahead and, Jen, could you move me to the south and then down to the coach? Oh, shit. Yeah, and since I me. got there. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here on the corner. I need to have you guys do all my work for me. What's the contract say? Uh, when a player ends their turn on a coach speech, we will read this. So I will hang on to that until I end my turn. Uh, coach speech. 
It's coach, <laughs> coach speech. Yes. Uh, okay. I spent two of my swords to get through those monsters, so I'm not going to kill anything. Great. But I have five skill. So, the briefcase of holding. Draw two cards. I'm going to buy this. Great. Don't put a briefcase of holding inside another briefcase of holding. For real, though. Dragon attack. Yikes. More black cubes. That's and... not going to bode well for us later. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, so now I've completed the Discomfort Coach's contract. I'll take the book, please. 178. Digging deep into the book, all of a sudden. Efficient public transportation is vital when tackling a wide variety of side quests, and Comfort Coaches has been more than up to the task until today. Unfortunately, this station platform is currently under the control of a dragonling, making coach service impossible. Mm. The creature skitters around the platform, devouring pieces of each building, bench, and signpost as if sampling a party platter. You've never known dragonlings to be polite, but aggression like this is especially troubling. The station staff don't know what to do, but you've got a few ideas. It says, determine your next move. If you generated any swords this turn, you fight the dragonling off, impressing the coach, comfort coach's staff. Uh, and that's that's true. So, uh, you gain one gold and draw an extra card in your hand for next turn. Um, destroy discomfort coach, the discomfort coach's contract. Coach travel can be used again. Great. All right. My turn. Yeah, I have one stumble. So, uh, clank. <laughs> and then I have a sidestep which I'm going to take down to Northridge. So I get one of these. Yeah, minor secret. Minor secret, two points, two coins, <laughs> um, which leaves me with two, uh, three skill to spend and two to fight. I'm going to spend my three skill for an explorer and my two, this is, I get negative two clank. Is that every time, that's only when I defeat it? Yeah, because it's going away. It's not yeah. in your deck. Okay. And then if you're on a town space, tram, mm -hmm. I get two points. So I'm going to do this one. Uh, could you like say what it oh, is? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to choose the smuggler, which is a monster. Um, I'm going to defeat it. So I get negative two clanks. So I get that back. Nice. Um, and if I'm on a town space, I get two coins. There you go. There we go. Thank you. Great. And that's the end of my turn. Ooh, a uh, monster <sighs> arrived. All, cl all players get a clank. All right, now it's my turn, I believe. Mm -hmm. Plus one clank for my stumble. But I also have my ring of invisication, which is minus two clank, so I'm not going to so you can dip one back. take one back. Nice. What color are you? Red. I'm red. Thank you. And then I've got, I don't have an artifact or a crown. So I've got two sidesteps and three skills to spend. So, can I go like here and then here? No, right? You have only two boots, yeah. so no. Okay. You can I can go like here and here, you right? You can teleport there. That seems like a good use of the smoke bomb. Yeah. To go which way? Do I get take to read one, this take, thing? Yeah, take you one would. boot here, teleport here, and then you still have a boot. And you have a sword, so you can Yeah, I could go further. But I get to read this? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm doing that. I love reading shit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I'm going to go one here, mm -hmm. and then teleport. I'm going to teleport. So trash this card just means yeah. right there? Yeah. And do I do that now or after? Uh, the contract says when you end your turn at the castle. Oh, okay, great. Uh, so... You did get a minor secret when you entered the castle. Oh, which great. one you want? Mm -hmm. This one. It's... A dragon egg. Ooh, a golden dragon egg. Cool. So hold on to that. It's worth three points. And the dragon gets madder. Oh, ah! my God. All right. I've got three skills to spend. Okay, I'm going to buy that. Freelance wizard. You got it. And I believe that that's my whole turn. I'm not going to go anywhere. Okay, the dragon's going to attack. I read the text. Nope. Uh, dragon's going to attack. Yep. Wow, lots of pain. Everyone except Anne. Okay, and what's that meet the locals contract say to read? 
When a player ends their turn on the castle at the center of the map, read 19. We need the book. We need the book. Thank you. The local duke, an effusive na man named Destrin, welcomes you with a greasy handshake. As your luck should have it, I need some of your abilities. The nearby mountains are part of my domain, but the dwarves there won't see reason. They have a sword, some sort of heirloom. They say whomever owns the sword rules the mountain. If you brought me the sword, that would settle the matter. Surely you can help me acquire it. Isn't that what you people do? As we're leaving, the Duke's visitor... It isn't our name. <laughs> as, we're, as you're leaving, the Duke's wizard advisor, Riz, throws her arm over your shoulder and leans in casually. Hey, friend, got any mystic fruit by any chance? No? Sure, I totally use mine up, too. Hard not to. If you bring one to my tower west of here, I could finish an experiment. I'd super appreciate it. Hmm. Um, destroy the Meet the Locals contract. Fetch cards 63 and 64 from the Cardporium and place them in the contracts row. 63 and 64, we're digging deep. Yep. 47, 59, 60, 61, 2 new contracts. Okay, should I read them now? Uh, yeah. The Ancestral Sword. Sword, boy. When the player with the 11 artifact ends their turn in the Duke's castle, they may give him the artifact to get 11 coins and read space, uh, what are we calling these? Book 15? Uh, yeah. Number 15? I, I think it's entry 15 in the entry Book of Secrets. Entry 15 in the Book of Secrets. Well done. If this game ends first before reading the epilogue, read, um... 18. Uh, searching for mystic fruit. When a player with a mystic fruit ends their turn on the wizard's tower, read uh, shit, what are we, entry number 161 in the Book of Secrets. If game two ends first before reading the epilogue, read entry number 182. Game two. Oh, so we have a little more time on that. Yeah. So okay, but those are two separate quests. The Ancestral Sword is this game, and the mystic fruit is our next game. Hmm. And then, fetch the 11 artifact token from the game box and place it on the magic circle space south of Cliff Ridge. Okay, I've got the sword here. So, so that's this. that must be the magic circle. Yep. And um, go to sticker sheet A, group 6. Apply the name banner sticker to this space. Give the castle a name. Whoa, Jen! Whew. Stick this what? Duke's castle on the castle and then name it. Over the purple question mark? Or... I think beneath it, see, beneath it, see how the name is on all these oh. other spaces, like position it similarly. Okay, what should I name it? You're going to have to stick it on first. I already peeled the sticker. Oh, <laughs> I have to write at that weird angle again. <laughs> only the sticker. Oh shit, it's got lines. It oh yeah, if you don't line it up with the road, that's a disaster. Is it? Hmm. No, no, that's beautiful. What should I name it? Magic? New Hogwarts. That's Magic pretty good. Castle? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Duke, though. The Duke's a bad guy. Do we really want to name it? Duke. We can't have a theme going with all these. Duke. Yeah, should it be like... The Magic should Castle? Should it be the Magic yeah, that Castle? Was a... That was I like, know. Or should it be like the Chateau Marklink? I didn't Mark think Link. of the Magic oh, Castle. Oh, that one's fun! Chateau Marklink. That's funny. Oh, what's that a reference to? Chateau, Chateau Marmont. Marmont. Or the Magic Castle. Brandon it's like a fancy schmancy very well. hotel that like people stay in and stuff. Oh, I'm neat. I only lived here for 15 years, so you can't be expected to know stuff like that. We call it the Getty. I like <laughs> that. I kind of like the Getty. The clanky. <laughs> I don't feel like that pun we call quite, leaves, Getty? quite leaves enough of work. the Getty behind the Getty. it. Should All right, Jen. Can I write it upside down? If you want to enlist someone else to write it, we can allow it. Just write it like a serial killer. Oh, see, she she doesn't want to write it, but she also doesn't want to give up the privilege. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um. Oh, that's I like good. I like how there's no space, so it's like thangity. Th <laughs> th <laughs> thangity th castle. Thangity. It's thangity castle. Thangity. It's thangity castle. Thangity. Oh man. All right. Thangity. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. I'm still there though. Any is is that the everything in the? You had like a that, sword and a boot left. That no, I, I I do believe I didn't at all. Apply the name banner sticker to the space. Give the castle a name. No, I ended my turn. That was my turn. All right, Ryan, you're up. Okay. 
crap. I had a plan, but that was like a half hour ago. <laughs> um, okay, I think it's coming back to me. So first, I uh, make a clank. What was me? Then I'm going to use a boot to move here. I'm going to spend seven to buy a canoe. Ooh, nice. There are only two canoes, by the way. Mm. Only one more that someone can get. Then, if you, oh, then I get two more coins. I have three, so I'm just gonna trade it in for a five. I have another boot, so with my canoe, I'm gonna travel to Wizard's Tower. Ooh, major secret. Then I get this. Yeah. It's, that's new. It's a shadow dragon egg. It's worth three points too, so you can hang on to it. Oh. And when you pick it up, all other players get three clank. Oh, that's cool what? for me. Yeah, Ouch. that hurts. That's rude. <laughs> Andy, mind putting those on the spot? Brutal. Thanks for that, Ryan. Yeah. And then Dragon Wizard's Tower. Is he? Yeah. Is that when I end my turn? Uh, you needed to bring a, a magic fruit. A fruit. So I don't have a fruit. Yeah. So so, so no contract right. is happening. Does he get mad? Um, or is a shadow one, so it doesn't. Uh, matter. No, actually, yeah, he it does not get mad. Okay. Four skill. There's oh Parkinson, or Bar <laughs> <laughs> Parkinson's boots. Parkinson's Parkinson boots. I think it's bark skin. Bark oh, skin. Bark skin. <laughs> I didn't see that there was no eye. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just get that two boots. Good. What's that do? Uh, it just gives me two boots and a clank. You don't you don't have to stop on four spaces this turn. That's great. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's a pretty good thing. Yeah, it's a good card. Okay, that's my turn. I stumble, take another clank. Is there anything out here that does... Oh, yeah, defeating the smuggler's minus clank. That would be great right now, but I don't have any swords. Good story. Uh, I have two companions, so my freelance cleric is going to give me his bonus. So I have seven skill. Dang! One boot, one sword. I will go ahead and... I'm gonna boot my way down if you could help me and grab that artifact. It's a seven point artifact. It's, what is this? Some sort of, uh, oh, it's a like knight's helmet. Mm. Squid's eye. Rage goes up when someone grabs ah. an artifact. And then my sword goes to waste. There's nothing for one sword and seven skill. Um, that's enough for this flying broom. Cool. Cool, it says acquire, gain a boot. I think I'm going to waste it, though, because I want to get a Mystic Fruit. So, that's it. Done. So, I'm going to grab another card, draw a card with my Emerald. And then it says I may discard a card to draw two cards. Mm, I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm going to discard one Burgle to gain a Burgle and... Um, another sapphire for another draw a card. <laughs> uh, okay. So that was a thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I am left with one boot for fight. So I'm going to first and foremost spend two fight on this guy, a smuggler monster. Uh, defeat him and I lose two clank. Nice. Thankfully. And if I'm on a town space, which I am, I gain two coins. You're rolling in it. And then he goes away, right? Yes. And then yeah. that leaves me with two more fight. So I'm going to defeat the Draggingling monster. And all players, oh, that's when it arrives. Mm -hmm. So I get three more gold pieces. Uh, can you give me change for a five? I, I can. There you go. And that disappears. I'm going to purchase, a boat, uh, purchase the boat. Oh, you got the other canoe? Seven, the canoe seven coins and then I'm going to use my one boot to come over here Oof. and I'm going to go ahead and spend my five skill on a mercenary and a explorer that's the end of my turn all right cool the dragon attacks oh a lot of plank goes in the bag we're gonna start dying faster Oh, it's me. It's you. How many? Uh, three. Just red. Finally, Jen catches up on the track. The tax bit. man coming. <laughs> tax <laughs> man's been taxing me these cards the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, your turn. 
So I've got a stumble, which is plus one clank. And then I've got uh, just some burgles and a town guard, which is just one sword, which can't do shit. <laughs> and uh, just five points to spend. Is that dagger minus two clank? It is, in addition to two swords and one sword when you buy it. It's pretty good. That's three swords. Okay. I'm kind of forget what my... Oh my, I lost the, my trail of thought here. <laughs> you were kind of single-minded on getting to the castle, and now you're aimless. I know. Mm -hmm. I really... I think I'm going to just do the mercenary and the explorer. Popular move lately. And I do believe that's my whole turn. Right. Great. She wrote. Um, I have a boot, so I'm going to move into here. Oh, there's a number on there. Yeah. Eight. You can go ahead and read it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A sturdy lodge in this forest is the home of the Greater Ridge Area Explorers Society and their president, a half orc woman named Gargi. <laughs> <laughs> we have a big season ahead of us, and we could use a hand tackling some of the trickier jobs. Feel like pitching in? We can even show you around a bit and help you learn the terrain. Fetch cards 96 through 97 from the card podium and put them in the contract row. Go to st sticker sheet A, group 9. Okay, well, I find the stickers. Why don't you take a look at these contracts? Okay. We got heavy metals. When the player with the 9 artifact ends their turn, read 179. Yeah. If game 3 ends first before reading the epilogue, read 155. So this is by game hmm. three. And then secret tunnels. A player who ends their turn on the minor, the minor secret space in the northwest corner of the map may spend one boot to read 25 if game two ends first before reading the epilogue, read 37. So that is up there. We can yeah. throw, throw so, this there. Apply path sticker from this space to either north ridge, south ridge, or the artifact space. Oh, you've got a decision to make. Here's a path. Where do you want it to go? Oh, okay. So Northridge, Southridge. Or the artifact space. Yes. Yeah. I can go straight to five. Hmm. I like the idea of a quicker way out. All right. That's good. And then apply the draw card sticker over waypoint eight. All right. So this is a new icon in this game. It just means when you enter that forest, you draw a card. Cool. You may draw a card or take a minor secret immediately. Or take a minor secret. Which do you want? That's a good question. Um, I'll take a minor secret. Um, I can... That trashes a card in your play area right now. Ooh. So if you have a clank, you can... Yeah. I'm just going to put my jacket on. Is that a horrible... Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to screw the whole thing up. That's, if I, like... That's totally fine. Okay. If anything, I think that'd be funny. <laughs> Should we wait till my turn's so over? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Mid-turn. <laughs> I'm just going to pop, like... <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the continuity error. <laughs> Although, man, that jacket's going to be <laughs> noisy. <laughs> I'm so like this. What a fine jacket. We might as well turn the heater on. <laughs> Where was I? I? I'd used one boot to get in there, so now I'm stuck there. Um, I have two swords, which can do either of those. I think I'll... Oh, and I'm in a forest space. So I'll defeat the Dryad and get two skills. Nice. So then I have six skills, which is pretty damn good. And I think I'll do the ruby and draw a card. And two clanks. Yeah. That's a lot of points. Yeah. I could use some points. Did any of my cards this turn have minus two clank? No. Okay. You're finished? Yeah. Oh, uh, so... We drew our first event card. This is a new thing in Clank Legacy. This just happens as soon as this card like is revealed, and then it'll go away. 
So why don't you read this, Ryan? Malathrax's Horde. Each player who reveals a boot from their hand gets one coin. If any players don't execute a two cube dragon attack. Ooh, so I got a boot. I got a boot. Do you have to get rid of the card though? You're just revealing it. Oh yeah, I got a boot. Everyone has a boot. Hey, everyone gets money. Yay. You get a coin. <laughs> you get a coin. Oh man. You get a coin. Okay, that went nicely. Uh, that goes in the trash. And we keep filling up the row. Uh, the, another ring of invisification arrived, put three black cubes back in the bag. Wow. And a dragon attack after that. Mm -hmm. Oh, me? Yeah, three cubes. Three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dig deep. Oh, in the corner. I got four. <laughs> okay. Ow! Oh, man. Hate to see that happen. Alright, I'm almost half dead. Love that it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I stumbled, and then I have five skill and a boot. I still can't get across that that path. Um, five skill is gonna buy me a ring of invisification, so I can hopefully control some clank in the future. I'm going to do nothing with my boot, and my turn is done. Uh, the dragon attacks. Four, three. Three black cubes. It's those ones we put back in just now. <laughs> okay. So. So. Here's the earth. Round. I have two plank. I have one boot. I'm going to move down here to the forest, and then I can either draw a card or... Um, or take a mystery. Uh, it's it's for everyone else. It's just draw a card. It was his special thing. For oh, got it. it. Yeah. Okay, so I draw a card, which is another um, another skill. So now I have five skill. I'm going to buy another gem. Wow, two more clank two in more there. Two more clank in there. At some point, you're gonna pay the piper on all this clank. Uh, you guys have a lot more clank in there than I do at the moment. Do we? Yeah, this it might even it up. Mm. But I haven't put any clank in for like the last four rounds. Fine. I've been paying attention. <laughs> That's does, does the dragon attack. Anne and I have exactly the same amount left. I just counted. And <laughs> the dragon does attack. Ooh, put those in. Okay. Draw them right Fancy back out. Fancy disguise. Oh my god. It's only three, right? It's got some. Yeah. I kind of want that. A yellow? Okay. All right. We're tied back up. Okay. Jet. Is it my turn? Yeah. Great. I've got two boots, two swords, and um, five skill to spend here. So with my one boot and one sword, I'm going to go this way. Can you, you get a minor secret? Which is two coin. And then I'm going to spend another boot and another thing to go here, which I think is five skill to spend. I think I'm gonna do the bearskin boots for the copy Orion. Dark skin boots actually, plus one clank. You don't have to stop on forest bases this turn. A little itchy, okay, a lot itchy. They're like an itch you can wear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my whole turn. Oh, plus one clank, Mobby. Four coins because I have another companion in my play area. Uh, actually, I'll just put one back and take a flat. And I do stumble one clank. So I have two boots, another clank, but then I have minus two clanks. So actually, I'll just take that back. <laughs> um, then, so I have two boots, one here. Get a little secret. Ooh, another gold. You're so rich. The rich get so rich. <laughs> you have a canoe. You bought a canoe and you're back up to 12 gold. Yeah. I'm very jealous. Everybody wants to be me. So the problem I face is that I can go to Clifford Ridge, but my turn will end there. And Jen's there. 
Oh yeah, you don't want to be there if she's there. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> She's probably gonna get that sword yeah, before me. I'm gonna get that sword before you. Well, you could plan to get this nice shell. I could plan to get that nice shell. Um, that might be a smarter idea. Or maybe I actually do. Who knows? Who does know? Not I. Hmm. Anne could have three boots. Gotta hedge your bets here, my friend. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna <laughs> keep going this way. Cliff Ridge. Cliff Ridge. And I to go. have a sword. Um, so I have three swords left. Three swords and one. Oh wow, just one. Really? <laughs> just one <laughs> skill. Three swords and one skill. Uh, maybe I can gain skill? No, but I can get five more coins. Jeez. So I guess I'll do that. Um, I'm going to defeat the stone golem with three swords. And for that, I get five coins. You're up to a canoe and 17 gold. Damn, you're so rich. That's right. You and your, you've got all your gold in your damn canoe? <laughs> <laughs> I need some sort of vehicle for all my gold. <laughs> Um, and then I just have one skill that can't buy me anything, so that's it for me. Okay. I... Brandon, are you going to finally get that fruit? No. Fuck. I am, think I'm going to give up on it because I cannot seem to get a two-boot hand. So actually, I'm going to use my boot to head back up north. Maybe I'll swing by that contract that's up there on my way back. Oh, yeah. Um, do you already have an artifact? I do. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that leaves me with three swords and five skill. Let's okay. I'm just gonna gonna in my deck a little bit. I'm gonna buy this advertisement. It's worth two skill and says if you make any clank this turn, two gold. And when I acquire it, I get to trash a burgle. So there goes burgle. My synergy card also trashes a card in my play area discard pile. I'm gonna trash another burgle. And my two swords will just kill, or my uh, three swords rather. I'll spend two of them to kill a cultist for one gold. That's my turn. No dragon attack, and you're up. Okay. So I have a stumble for one clank. And then I have two boots. Not three boots. Uh, I'm going to go one, two. Ooh. So I want to read some wow. flavor text. Woohoo! Yeah. There's the book, Anne. 139. A merchant's wagon sits on the road ahead of you, and it's apparently being held up. A group of Malathrex's cultists are blocking the road, reading out iambic proclamations <laughs> that claim the merchant's wealth for the glory of their draconic lord. Actually, you're not sure if, it's, if this is a robbery or a performance art installation. <laughs> Go to sticker sheet A, group 7. Okay. Apply a minor secret sticker over the waypoint 139. Do not take a minor secret this turn. Oh, you don't Sucks. do that? Choose your next move. I could A, if you offer the services of Acquisitions Incorporated to the merchant and help drive off the cultist, draw two cards. If you side with the cultist and demand tribute from the merchant, acquire a mysterious tome. Ooh. If you take a quick nap and let the situation sort itself out, heal one damage. <laughs> So I am going to side with the cultists and demand tribute from the merchants, uh, acquiring a mysterious tome. Wow, okay, you can help yourself. That's five points. That. And then with my remaining... I am quite surprised that that didn't, like... Me too. Find oh, I did need a sticker, road. though. I, oh, you already put I, it on I put there. it on there for you, sorry. Um, so I have four skill, and this card costs four skill. It's a jeweled circlet. Uh, it gets me three coins, and I have to put in one clank. Do it. And do I get three coins when I play it? Yep. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Jen. Cool. Um, so first things first is I have a stumble. Good, good. I'm trying to move my arms as little as possible. Yeah, just gonna play your turn like... I've got a, I've got one boot, which I'm going to use here and pick up this artifact. Fuck off. 
which oh, I think moves the yeah, dragon, right? Yeah, um, increases the rage. Ah, uh, and then beyond that, I've just got four points to spend here. I think I might do the dagger and the mercenary. So I get my, uh, you get an extra sword right now, huh? You do for, yeah, could, what's the name of it? I would only have one sword though, concealed okay. dagger. So I wouldn't really be able to do anything anyway. And I'm still going to get it. And a mercenary. Mercenary. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking slowly here. Concealed dagger and a mercenary. Gotcha. We got twin skimmers out there. <laughs> Skimmer me timbers. All right. I got two boots. Jen took the fucking sword. She'll do that. Oh, I guess first things first. I have a clank. And then... Jen moved me. Now, oh, sorry. I'm in the same space. I thought I was. And then, two, that uses one of my swords. Mm -hmm. Then I still have two swords, which I guess can only do. Make you richer. Oh, backtrack. I was in a town. From a town, I can buy shit. Yeah. I'm a very wealthy You're gonna man. You buy that crown. <laughs> you deserve it. I'm gonna buy a crown for seven. Great. And then, what the hell? I'm going to spend seven to buy another crown. All right. Um, and I'll get three back. Now you're a poor man with two crowns stacked one on top of the other. <laughs> you know you're wearing both Which I crowns. believe is a foolish man. Yeah. <laughs> and then I will move here, use one of my swords. And then I have two swords, which I'll just use here to defeat the cultist and get one coin. And then I have a total of two, three, four skill. Five, six, nine. Wow, that's a really good card. Mm -hmm. It's like a really good card. Which one? Uh, the, the fancy disguise? Yeah, yeah I was... Negative three on acquiring and right. negative two every time you play it. I really did not think about getting it, and I didn't do it. I don't know right why. Right now, I value boots. That is my turn. All right. I... You're so loud. Oh, my. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough... Do you have, like, a, bl like a, no, no, like no, a blanket you're... that I can put on? <laughs> just just don't move. Just, just don't move. Just don't move. move. Just more wrapped up every time. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Hopefully the audio will pick up our voices <laughs> through the jacket. What? That's amazing. <laughs> All right, so I have two boots and one sword. I'm gonna go ahead and move twice up to those mountains with the contract. So I can't spend a boot to complete the contract right now, but I do get a minor secret. It is a healing potion. I'll just go ahead and spend it and heal one. Yeah. Got a little toadsy. <laughs> no, I just felt so conscious about my coat. I'm gonna spend my skill on an explorer. Now my turn is done. Okay. And you're up. So, okay. I have one boot, so I'm gonna move here, and I have to use one fight to get there. Um, and I'm gonna take this little the mystic fruit. The mystic fruit. The mystic fruit. And then I have. Three fight left. Which I really I can spend for one gold by doing a cultist. There you go. Well, attacking a cultist, not doing a cultist. <laughs> Please, attempt to not do the cultists. <laughs> and then that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six skill points left. So I'm finally going to buy this, this wonderful thing here, which is the Merchant's Tome, which is worth one point for every gem and tome in my deck. Including this one. Nice, and uh, that sat there for a long time. I it did. Can't believe you got it. I did. Anything else? No. Thank you. The dragon attacks. Uh, four, four cubes. Ooh. Bad day Sorry, to be games. yellow. <laughs> Two yellow, a green, and a red? Wow. Good thing I can't move this turn. <laughs> Jen, you are out. Spoiler alert. Oh, right. <laughs> so my first thing is that I've got a plus one clank, but I my ring of invisification came up, so it's minus two clank, so nothing happens there. 
Um, I've got two boots and two, three swords and um, five skill to spend. So I'm going to, sorry, Jesus. <laughs> I'm not wearing it anymore. She's still, she's still doing this. All right. Uh, so I'm, I'm, my goal here is to get back to the Duke's <laughs> castle so that I can uh, complete that contract. Do I just laugh? Just do it. <laughs> just laugh at me. Oh boy. But my issue here is I can either like, I could get here. I should probably just get there and I can get this rumor. Right? What? No, not rumor. What's it? Secret. secret rumor yeah. is what? What's that? That's a completely different game. Is that, is that <laughs> pandemic? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. Moving on. I don't, I don't know. All right. Anyway, 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 anyway. Anyway. All right. So one boot to go there. My other boot and one sword to go here, and I get one of these little fellas. Okay. We're gonna have to another, put this somewhere better next time. Or I can just hand one to her. Ooh, a golden egg. Another dragon Yay. egg. Does yeah. that shit move? It sure does. Yeah, sorry. Ah. My B. And I believe I have two swords left and five skill to spend. Well, I could use my two swords to defeat the cultist to get one point, which I do believe I will do. Mm -hmm. And then I will, with my five skill... Ah! Oh, fancy disguise! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Woo! What's that do? We've been admiring it all the time, and I don't think we've ever fancy read it. Fancy disguise <laughs> is uh, minus two clank, which doesn't... No, minus three clank when I acquire, which doesn't really do anything for me. But then I get two swords and a boot every time I pull it up, and minus two clank. Seems good. Great. It's a pretty good card. <laughs> Very excited. Welcome to the club. One, two. And uh -oh. an, an event. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. All right. Cleaning up the streets. Place a minor secret on the cultist card. The next player to defeat the cultist also takes the secret. Oh, neat. This there just goes is. here? Hmm. Yeah. Trash it. Okay. Ryan's up. A rumor is an elder tour. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Wow. Can't believe you didn't remember that, Brandon. I can't believe he got that and I didn't. You just fell a little more in love with him, didn't you? <laughs> I <Aww. might> have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I still can't move for those paying attention at home. <laughs> we remember that from before. From the spoiler alert. Yeah. So, I do have four skill. And three attack. Um, I can defeat that guy over there, which seems pretty promising. That's the one that gives you a random major secret. Yeah, I like that. Um, that seems better than a minor secret, and that's pretty much my option. So I'll go <laughs> with the major secret. Woohoo! Um, so one of these. <laughs> can I have that one? <laughs> no! <laughs> it was random when I pointed at it. Pick it randomly. Try again. You pick it for me, just pass. No, no, you pick it. Okay, yeah, my face is in You're going to be hand. mad if you pick the bad one. You're right, you're right, you're right. I want this one that was buried. Oh, she's good. She heals me twice. Oh, oh man, you needed that. Do you want to use it now? Yeah, obviously. Look at me. <laughs> <sighs> Death's doorstep there. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. And now I have four to buy with. Uh, I don't need any more swords. I really need movement. I'm just going to buy an X. Or question mark? I don't know. The innkeeper at least activates some of my other cards. No, fuck that. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. All right. Oh, another rival adventurer. So danger is on for plus one cube and the dragon attacks. Ryan, you're drawing five cubes. Ooh, that one's. Uh, this one's gonna be bad for me. That's a lot of cubes. <laughs> and I have quite a few in there now. One, two, three, four. Always blue. Always right. blue. One, two. Oh no. Three. Uh, okay. Four. Uh, Fuck! Wow. <laughs> Just us. Happy to be here with you. Here at the end of all here things. Here at the end of all things, I guess. Okay, uh, I stumble. Actually, yeah, I stumble. Where are all of Anne's cubes? Uh, Jesus! <laughs> just a bag full of Anne's cubes! <laughs> Gonna yeah, just a bunch of cubes! Shirt. A bunch of cubes! <laughs> I stumble again because I drew two cards and I stumble. Just hand me the cards. I don't have to reach for it and put it back on the thing. Sorry. Just a bunch of 
such a cube. All right, so I'm annoyed. I want to end my turn there and spend a boot. The problem is I'm already there and I have five freaking boots <laughs> that, I'm, that I'm wasting if I end my turn there. I guess I'm doing it though. What happens if you end your turn there? I don't have any swords, so it's not like I want to head out and take a bunch of damage. So uh, it's going to complete a contract and read something. I don't know what will happen. Oh, okay. That was uh, the end of the game. I'd be pretty pissed. <laughs> okay, so I five skill to buy another briefcase of holding. It's the card that draws two cards. And then I will end my turn spending a boot to complete the secret tunnels contract. Cool, cool. Yeah, which had said, you may, I may spend a boot to read number 25. Right. Where's our secret book? I got the secret book. The secret tunnels here aren't all that secret now they're looking for them. One leads straight through the mountain into a subterranean burrow, finally emerging underneath a half-destroyed castle not far from your headquarters. A chill finds its way into your bones, and you decide you'd rather not linger. Uh, thank you for acting that out, even though I could not be further from that space. <laughs> uh, go to sticker sheet F, groups 40 and 41. Oh, shit, this is, uh, okay. Stuff's happening here. Because this says, apply stickers R4, R14, and R21 to the rule book. Uh, and it says these new rules are summarized at the right, which is convenient. I'm just going to read this and we can do the stickers later. Okay. New rules. During setup, place a white cube. That's W-I-G-H-T. Okay. White <laughs> cube in each ruin space. When a player enters a ruin, they get two gold. Then place the white cube in the dragon bag. Whenever a white cube is pulled from the dragon bag, all players take one damage. After the attack, return the white cube to the bag. Ooh, oh, so oh, it's always in there? Oh, wow. Already. And so then, in groups 41 and 42, we're adding this elaborate... Huh. Okay. This is elaborate map sticker. To the northwest corner of the board, the ruined space on the sticker replaces the empty space next to the town. Oh, okay. Jen, can you help me with that? Oh, sure. Does that make sense? Um, it goes like that? Uh, yes, exactly. Actually. Uh, guess what color the white cubes are? White! <laughs> hey, hey, smart. Uh, so we fetch the white, white cubes from the additional components box and add them to the bank if you haven't already. We add a white cube to the ruin space, so could you put that in that little notch there? This thing? Uh-huh. Place your figure on the major secret space. Oh, I get to cross those three boots. What? Take a major secret immediately. What? I got a double healing potion. Why don't you heal me for two, please? What? What color are you green? <laughs> you okay? You're just screaming. <laughs> You're screaming for no reason. Uh, destroy the secret tunnels contract, which we still want. Yes, I want to scan these. We're not destroying them. I promise we'll be better later. It's fine. I don't, I've, I've torn up a card before. <laughs> Okay, that's everything. Um, we fill up the thing for the end of my turn. Dragon attacks. And this could be it. This could be the death of me. Could be the death of me. We're pulling five cubes. Be. Does the dragon move? Why are we adding one? Uh, there's a danger. Oh, okay. Three greens. <laughs> and a yellow for good and measure. A yellow. I'm glad. Oh, and oh. is it just only blue in there? Oh, <laughs> Have you not you been putting the blues blue. in the bag? I've been putting everything in the bag. I don't know about that. I don't like that bag over there by Anne anymore. Yeah. I haven't done any. You see my things. Oh. Anyway. I see no blue on that track. Wait. I, oh. oh, let me pause for a second just because I'm almost... Time out. I'm almost out, and I don't think I've explained how the ending, the game ending rules are different. Yeah, actually, I was just going to ask. Yeah, so you can see there's not that track anymore that tracks like four turns after someone gets out. Yeah. After someone is out or killed, then on their turn, they just draw four dragon cubes indefinitely. Oh, okay. Uh, and once they're, uh, unlike Clank, where the second and third people out were um, like not doing anything, mm -hmm. each person who gets out starts drawing four cubes on their turns. Oh. So it just starts killing everyone faster. Really fast. Yeah. Okay. So that's what Do we'll you still happen. have to get oh. a... You have to get above ground, right? Do you have all of your... To score points. To yep. score points. Okay. You need to at least get... Uh, in this game, this is called, since it's a map, not below ground, this is called the danger zone if you cross that line on the board. Okay. 
Okay, that's my turn. All right, me. So I, so wait, sorry, sorry, Ann. So how does the game end fully? The game ends when everyone is either dead or out. back at HQ or, or dead. dead. Okay, great. Um, I have one stumble. So, uh, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move here and collect this artifact. Nice. The dragon lives again. Yeah, the dragon's at maximum ah. rage. So it, we pull six cubes now? As long as that danger's out there, oh, we're at six. Yeah. yeah. And what is this? It's she just did one sword to defeat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll defeat it. The rival adventurer, and I pull, uh, danger pull. Okay, we're getting rid of that. Defeating, I get two coins, and I have to put one clank in. There you go. Yeah. More ants clank they just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and that re leaves me with one remaining sword, which I can't do anything with, and um, four to buy with. Hmm. She is over there, like the banker of the bag. You think yeah. she's just throwing her cubes like over onto the floor? You can check the footage. <laughs> I it's, I'm not cheating. It's all on the cameras. This card, which is Herbology, and it says if I have any Mystic Fruits, I get plus two more skill, which I do have a Mystic Fruit, hmm. so that will be advantageous. Hmm. And then two left. Oh, mercenary. Okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, that's the end of my turn. Jen. Sweet. So I've got uh, my boots and I've got three boots and two swords and five points to spend. So first things first is I'm going to spend a sword and a boot to go here so back, that I can back to castle back to the getty so that I can <laughs> complete that contract, but First, I'll just spend points, I guess, because yep. might as well. Um, also, you get a minor secret when you enter. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh I get to heal. Sure. Which I'll do right now. Oh, that must be nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty nice. All right. I think I'll do that twin scimitar. And... Cool. That's my whole turn. But I get to do something. So I... When the player with the 11 artifact, which I have, uh, ends their turn on the Duke's castle, they may give him the artifact to get 11 coins and read box or read uh, entry number 15. There's 11 coins. And if this... Did, did you say give him the artifact? Yeah. Oh. So, so it's like I'm trading this for the But 11. then you don't have an artifact are, at the end of the yeah, game. Yeah, are you going to be... Are you going to have one at the end of the game? I'm... Do the dragon eggs count no. as artifacts? Uh -uh. Oh fuck me! Well, I mean, may maybe he'll give you a yeah. I, mean, I don't artifacts. really care. What do I? What I don't happens? Know. What, what don't you know. don't get points, right? If you don't have an artifact, you have to have an artifact to score points. Um, what if I don't care about scoring points? What if I'm just maybe, like man? Maybe he'll replace the, the artifact. I, I I think in in legacy that's completely legit to not care about scoring points and just want to like advance. Yeah, I just kind of want to see what's what. Do it. Um, all right, so I give him this the sword. Uh, which entry is it? Uh, 15. There you go. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Destrin's eyes sparkle, drawn to the runes etched along the blade. The dwarves gave you no trouble. I do hope you left not alive. Legendary grudge keepers, dwarves. He advances into a practice routine of parries and thrusts. No matter. With this, I now legally own their minds and all their riches. <laughs> I am, of course, willing to share with my friends, he says, then pauses meaningfully, so long as they remain loyal. The sword was the deed to their minds? I, I suppose. <laughs> Return the 11 artifact to the game box. Hmm. Uh, it does say that you will need a new artifact in order to score your points for this game. Fetch card 131 from the card Porium. Acquire it. Oh, acquire it. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Duke Destrin's companion, worth five if I have a crown. Or kind of useless if I don't. <laughs> uh, great. Go to sticker sheet A, group 10. Sticker sheet A, group 10. Gotcha. What do you need? Uh, apply the monster sticker to a path of your choice that's connected to the space south of Cliffbridge with the magic circle. So okay. that's, that's this one. Yeah, so here's... So you have to pick between these two? I think, or you could probably add a second monster there if you want. That's kind of rude. Well, <laughs> it's, it's yours to stick. I think I'm just going to put it here. 
Or should I put here? To worry about <laughs> another day. Last second audible. All right, yeah, now we, that's another, that's a, that's a okay. problem for another game. And okay. the last thing was just to destroy this card. Okay. And that's, that's that on that. And that's your turn, right? Yes. Right. How many defeat the Mimic? Which, on defeat, you draw two cards. Um, from here, from my hand. <laughs> yeah, not from the <laughs> store. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Um, I got a shit ton of boots, but I'm heading to a dead end. <laughs> um, but the good thing is I got more swords. So I'm going to use a boot. And I should put this over here. Um, use a boot, use a sword. I still have one sword, but that won't do me any good. Um, Pick up this artifact. Dragon, dragon can't enrage anymore. Great. Um, then I have other companions in my play area. Use a companion. So this is worth four. I'll take a five. One sword and six skill. I want this smoke bomb. Five skill. Ooh, sales call. Yes. Okay, that's it. All okay. right, three new cards in the row. The dragon attacks. The dragon does attack, and there's danger. So six cubes, right? Cool. Uh, cool. You or I could die here. Or me. Or you. All six cubes. <laughs> Wait, we almost. It would suck. Oh yeah, you can't. Punch. It would just suck. <laughs> One, two. I have some. Uh, you have exactly oh. six. Oh. It's two of everybody but you. Well that, done. That is obvious cheating That's if lucky. I've ever seen it. <laughs> well done. Oh, I need to get out of there. And luckily, it's my turn to do so. Yay. Uh, I will play my briefcase of holding to draw two cards. I stumble. Here's a clank. Um... Spend a boot to move into those ruins, which is going to put that white cube in the bag. And I get two gold when I do that. Then I'm going to spend another boot and move back to Los Clanctulus, which uh, completes the contract. Yep. So what does that say to read? Um, when a player with an artifact enters the town space next to HQ, read 40. Don't wait for the end of the turn. Upon returning to the town, you find a crowd clustered at what was once a bridge and is now the exact opposite, an entire absence of a bridge, replaced by a heap of rotten timbers that leave a slimy black residue on anyone who handles them. Cool. So that's the opposite of a bridge. Mm -hmm. You learn that the bridge spontaneously collapsed earlier today, not too long after you passed through. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know better, you might think something nefarious was going on around here. Either way, if you can't cross the river, you'll have to find another way home through the countryside. Go to sticker sheet A, group 5, apply the double path sticker over the path between the town near HQ. Be careful of the board seam. Um, okay. So if you could stick that up there, that takes that simple path and makes it a triple boot or a canoe to get home to the tavern. Canoe! Okay. Oh. Yeah. Praise be, oh, canoe. Oh, I see, because there's a seam there. Yeah, so that sticker's gonna fold when we close the board. That's gonna be. No, actually, I think it's it will go like right oh, on you... the edge here. Gotcha. Is what I believe is the. That's... Nope. Nope. Damn it, Jeff. Nope. nope, nope. <laughs> Great. Uh, it had me pull out this new contract, bushwhacking. A player who ends their turn on the space directly south of HQ may spend five skill or three boots to read forty-four. If this game ends first, fetch card one hundred nine from the card and place in the contracts row. Then destroy this contract. So let's put this. It's that one, right? Yeah. So five skill or three boots there. All right. Well, I thought I was gonna get out this turn, but now I need three boots. So it's not happening. I do have six skill, which will buy me almost a tome, but not quite. Not quite. I hate to see that happen. I'll take this intelligent mall and an enchanted cape. Cool. Done. An advertisement. 
approval in the sales call. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, you may discard a card to draw two cards. I'm gonna discard a burble to get two cards. Well, I have one boot, so I'm going to go to Southridge. I have six fight. Whoa. Um, which don't do me any good, except- could defeat the rival. I don't wanna put in another clank. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to mm. do this three times and get three okay. points, and I get this. Yeah, minor secret. Which is an egg. Oh, okay. That's three points, and the dragon can't get any matter than he already is. So. And then I have two, four, six. Everyone okay. keeps getting six. Yeah. I'm going to do sales call, which is two boots and two gold um, whenever I play it. Great. I don't think we've read the player text. I understand you have a provider already, but have you considered giving me money instead? Okay, you got an event. All players must reveal a sword from their hand. Each player who can't will get a clank. Mm, I got a sword. Two, I got three, one. Four, five. I have a jaw card. Can I use that? No. Okay, then I don't have one. I can't either. So okay, no sword. Put in a clank. Also, after that, a dragon link came up, which is all players get plus one clank on arrival. Oh. Fuck. Darn it. Okay. So I'm sort of at a crossroads here. I can decide if I want to go back and try to get an artifact so that I can get points at the end of the game, or I can go here and <laughs> open this box. But do we know what you want to do? No, I, I do really want to open that box. <laughs> Fuck it. What do you, like, I mean... Who knows what's right or wrong? Who knows if I'll even have the chance to, like, get there and get I back. I don't think you'll get there and back, so... You have to also have three boots when you get down here. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Twice. Like, I have to have three boots twice. Yeah. Well, fuck it. I'm going to go here then. Okay. All right. So, first things first is um, I have a stumble, which is going to be a clank, and I don't have anything to take a... Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, okay. Now, so I'm going to do one boot. I'll use my two boots to go here. Great. Oh, I'm <laughs> hoping to get more boots to... Die. Whatever. <laughs> <sighs> Sucks. Okay. <laughs> now I have. You have one attack and five, five skill. Skill. Well, I can defeat that rival adventurer. Yeah, I'm gonna give you plus one clank. I'll do that. Oh, but you'll get two gold. Yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, who cares? The game's almost over. All right. Uh, wow! I just saw how much money you have over there. Not too much. It doesn't matter. Uh, true. <laughs> It might matter. We don't know. We don't know anything. <laughs> that, that I, matters. I guess you don't get to turn that gold into points if you uh, don't if have I die. Artifact. Yeah. So I'm just that was my whole. Oh no! I have to spend. Right? I need to spend. Yeah. Five. Five to spend. What's that consultant? You may discard a card and draw two draw cards. two cards. That's it's worth one point. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna's declared points don't matter. <laughs> they don't matter for me, I don't care. Uh, Trying to invest in boots at this point. Yeah, I know. I think I'll, so I think I'll get an explore. <laughs> and uh, a mercenary. What is this? I can spend. You can spend three boots three or five boots skill. Or five when you get skill. There. Yeah. So it's, I only have two points left, though. So I might as well just get the mercenary so I can have extra points just in case. Okay. That's my whole turn. Fuck, dragon attack! Ooh. Oh, that's so many cubes. Can we one quiet night this? <laughs> no one quiet night in this game. Jen, draw five. So we're gonna draw five? Cubes, not cards. Oh, man, I'm not gonna be able to draw that stupid thing. Okay. I don't know how many I have, but one, two, three. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's it, that's it. That's Stop okay. there. Okay. Don't draw any more Sorry, yes. Draw another one and I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three blues. That's uh, I'm I'm fine with that. You guys and, yes. and one green. I know there is a god today. I feel him <laughs> or her in this room. <laughs> Brian, just whatever you do, don't make the dragon attack, please. Well, I'm gonna say something unfortunate. Hope to live, hope to die, I guess. Which is <laughs> really bleak over there, but. <laughs> Um, all right, well, I'm gonna put in three clank right now. <laughs> <laughs> really good timing. Um, 
Hope to live, hope to die. <laughs> and then, but luckily I have two boots and, um, oh. Fuck. You hit the forest. Well, no, because oh. this one lets me avoid forests. Or, I not avoid, I can move through forests. That's true. With my bark skin boots. And also I have to draw a card. Um, which, thank God, is swords. Oh my God. All right, so oh, yeah. I move through here. I use a sword. And then I use my canoe to move to here. Back it up, though. Okay. All There's right, a passage street on there. You're right, you're right, right. I still have a space. Just let's not forget, I have a boot and a canoe. You know how to use it. Number nine. All right. Love potion number nine. This strange hut seems to be the source of a pungent odor. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> a scratchy voice, but fuck. Scratchy voice beckons you inside. Don't, don't go in there. You guys, you left me alone in the far side of the forest. Don't just stand there. Come in. I feel like it's creepy. Don't just stand there. Come in. Child. <laughs> the voice belongs to a hunched woman. That's what I pictured. Yeah, oh, man. Is. What else could she be? We're on a journey. All right. The voice belongs to a hunched woman in a black robe. Smiling at you from across a bubbling cauldron. <laughs> oh, Elfton, don't go in there. Nice to see new people in the neighborhood. Could I impose upon you to run an errand for an old woman? You see, I need some extra ingredients for my pot. Fetch card 132 from the cardporium and put it in the contracts row. This will take place of waypoint 9 until it is resolved. Overworld only. Uh, bubble bubble a player who ends their turn on waypoint nine may give up any potion hmm. Secret any potion secret to get two coins and read Passage 12. Have okay. you guys been paying attention to your box? No, I haven't been I don't even know where my box is <laughs> Oh, okay. Well going back to where we are right now in the middle of a hut with an old witch um, I get to heal one point of damage. FYI. Oh, one damage? Yep. You are not green. Right. I'm yellow. Okay, now back to my turn, which is very important. I still have one boot left and my canoe, so I'm up here now. That seems good. Yeah, that's all my boots. I have one sword left, nothing to use it on. And I've put in a million clanks, and I have no way to undo that. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's all she wrote for you. That's that, but I do get to shuffle. I'm happy for you there. Okay, I'm really glad that I didn't die on that dragon draw. Um, I have swords to kill the dragonling. Uh, three gold. Mm -hmm. My skill is at seven, so I'm going to take a mysterious tome. And then... I don't need no bridge. I have a flying broom with three boots on it. Would you move me over that triple boot? And I'm to the tavern, give me my beer. Oh, you got a beer? Yeah, I get the, the beer token worth 20 points. Jeez. And I am off the clock. Whatever. Which so that means, means every year, one of your turns you're pulling four cubes? Mm -hmm. That's what it means. You best escape this turn. Yeah. And a dance turn. I think I'm gonna get to do it. All right. I have two emeralds for draw a card. Two boots. So I'm going to go one, two, and use one of my swords to fight that dude. You get a gold when you enter that forest. Yay, thank you. And then I have, if I have any mystic fruit, I get plus two. So that's three, four, and clank, five, three, uh, the consultant, uh, which we already have had once, and that gives me two points or two left. So I'm gonna take a merc mercenary. All right. Sweet. Hell oh, yeah. Is that dragon tag? No. No, Jen, you're up. God. Okay. Alrighty. So I have a plus one clank, but then I also have minus four clank, which would have been <laughs> wow. better if I hadn't had any clank in there, but I don't. I'm going to use one of my boots to go here, but I can't, I don't have enough points to spend to uh, do it yet. So hopefully on my next turn, if I survive, 
and I've got six swords and two points. So not really, if I can defeat that mimic at least. This freelancer fighter is worth a point. I don't, I'm not doing any points. I don't have any items. Dragon legs don't count, right? The artifacts. That's right. I forgot that you are uh, yep. doomed to fail. I'm not doomed to fail. I just want to read that box. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I hope, Brandon, if I die on your turn, I'm going to be pissed. I am not actually in control of what I'm going to defeat the mimic. What do I get here? Draw two cards. Oh. Damn it. I wanted to keep it. I think I have enough money now to. To bushwhack? To bushwhack. Yeah. Nice. Because I can spend five points and I didn't buy anything. Or did I? Yeah, I didn't buy anything. I got six points. So. Woohoo! That actually worked out. Which All right. Bushwhack? So Bushwhacking says, a player who ends their turn on the space directly south of HQ may spend five skill or three boots. You're spending five skill? Yes. Read number 44 in the book. This better be worth it. Yeah, mm -hmm. This isn't really worth it. It probably makes a path from okay. here to here. Mm -hmm. The backcountry is formidable, but not bad enough to prevent you from finding a new path to your headquarters. You'll have to fix up the road a bit to encourage business, but that doesn't sound too bad. And your trip across the wilderness was rather enjoyable, the scenic route and all that. I gain five coin. Whoa. I can go to <laughs> sticker sheet G, group 45, and apply a path sticker from this space to your HQ. Um, I may teleport to my HQ and escape immediately and destroy the bushwhacking contract. Whoa. So you get a beer. Well, it doesn't matter. Still, she doesn't get a beer. You have to have an artifact to get a beer. No, you have to have an artifact. Yeah, here. sorry. Um, That's kind of but she won't take any damage. Here's the path. She won't die. I mean, she will. It doesn't like, really her, matter. Her though. going here without an artifact die. doesn't take her out of the game. Oh, uh, I see. I see. I'm, I well, see. no, I would be. I would just be done. I'm just pulling cubes to kill you all faster. I, I don't think you are. I don't get to pull cubes because you haven't. You're not off the clock. You have to either get there with an artifact or die to pull cubes. What? So I'm just existing? <laughs> well, you could go after an artifact now. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go after an artifact. <laughs> like, there we go. I don't care. Like, if you can't do anything, right, well, I'm going to end the game. There's two more things here. You could go read those. All right. All right anyway. For now, Jen's turn is over. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you teleport or are you not teleporting? No, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go back in. Okay. <laughs> Arrive, all players get one uh clank. Uh, one, uh, plus one clank for all of you. Jen plus one clank. Don't worry, I'll kill you fast. And local guide. Okay. Well, I'm going nowhere quick. Right. So I have one boot. We go here. Three skill to acquire the local guide. Which takes me here. On um, acquiring it? Mm -hmm. Acquiring yeah. it. Really, I just nice. helped you end, end a little quicker, <laughs> right? I might die one space away from the exit because I can't move again. Oh, mm -hmm. never mind. Um, then I have two attack, or two skill, and two swords. Is there only one card left? <laughs> yeah, we're about to run out of market so cards. I was thinking about maybe not taking another one to not. Tempt the dragon again, but why not? Okay. Yeah, we are actually through the entire market deck. So, so what does that mean? So we're just not going to be adding cards Can to this we have anymore. The, oh, okay. Bag? Sure. Why? You have to pull. You're about to pull. Oh yeah. How about that? Okay, four cubes for my turn. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, thank God. Two blue. Well, no, I thought I'm it was if it, if it was four blue, I would be dead. Yep. So I'm okay with that. Okay, Anne okay. and Ryan. So, within. I have one sapphire, just draw a card. Yes. And a mysterious tome which does nothing. So, I have a stumble for a clank. <laughs> Whatever. Um, we were supposed to throw those cubes in when I drew. Just throw them in now. All about the one you just put in. Oh, it's yeah. Fine. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's my bad for forgetting. Um, I have one, two, three, four, which is enough to purchase this guy who I get a boot on, mm -hmm. which gives me three boots, which is 
One, do I have to stop and do this? Uh, no. Nothing happens there. Two, and then I have a boat for three. Oh, you made it to the tavern. Nice. So I get 20. Nice job. You have an artifact, right? Yes. Yeah, take your beer. Thank take you. your beer. 20 points. And now on your future turns, you'll also draw four cubes. <laughs> I really screwed myself uh, by deciding to read the I boxes. Was gonna, I was going to do that. Jesus Christ. And when you go off the clock, you actually pull back the clank that you have in there so you can take that cube back. I was going to do this. I was going to do that sword. Yeah, well, it's fucking useless. I'm just going to lose over. this game and do yeah. nothing. Jim, go ahead. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to move the one this way. <laughs> Five swords, which is useless. Well, I could defeat that thing twice. Yeah. Give me two points. <laughs> there you go. I can't wait to count up all my useless points at the end of this game. I'm looking forward to you having the most points. And, then I, and then I have seven um, points to spend. All right. Yeah, seven. So I'm just going to put a point. I think I'll, well, nothing with boots. Well, I could buy two explorers. <laughs> I could buy a you mysterious, can buy a mysterious tome. tome. Yeah. Yeah, but none of that shit means anything, so what's the point? But yeah, whatever, I'm gonna buy that tome. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? That's my whole turn. All right, Ryan. Great. Um, I'm going to attack the cultist and get one measly coin. There's nothing left that I can return one. I can return one. Yeah, you got you, 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 you got to make change. Turn is so stupid. <laughs> Uh, and then I am going to smoke bomb myself out of here. Nice. And I have to trash that card. And then... Uh, okay, you get your beer. Thanks. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take the bag. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only one left not safe at home is Jen, and we just pretty much draw till she dies. <laughs> Here's Maybe four she cubes. Won't. Oh, so the, so a red goes on her back, <laughs> and, and the white means everyone takes damage. So Jen, take a damage. Again? Yeah, because yeah, that's what the white cube does. This <laughs> blows. Yeah. All right, Anne. Kill, 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 kill! We have a bloodlust. One, two, three, four. One more red cube. All right. And so you survived to another turn. Yeah, Jen, your turn. <laughs> well, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> and I can't defeat anything. You can kill the cultist. Except I can kill the cultist twice, so I'll get two more points. <laughs> and uh, I've got two plus four. I've got six points to spend. <laughs> so I'm going to get some more boots. <laughs> Another turn, I will. I will eat okay, that. I love it. That would be a shock. I really want you to get another turn. I'll kill her. Sit down, Jen. One. <laughs> All right, there's one. I'll draw four cubes. One more red ends it. Pick all blues. Pick all my blues. Oh, it's just no red. <laughs> all my blues. Jen's gonna get another. Give me all my blues. Turn. She could go down. No, she didn't have that. She could go back over and do that <laughs> one. Never. I did that one. Oh, you already did that oh, one. What? Kill. Kill. Two, Kill. three, four. Shoot her! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Jen, it's your turn somehow. <laughs> I, I, is there another red cube in the bag? Okay, oh yeah, there are. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are. <laughs> oh man, I've got four, six swords, which again does nothing, but the three boots. So, uh,. And my boots, I don't have to stop in the floor. So one, two, three. <laughs> uh, the only artifact left is oh, this one. So you're... You oh, fuck, this is Jen, you can buy a crown. You're in a village. What does that mean? You could spend seven to get eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just meant she could use her third move to go there and read this flavor text. Oh, yeah, so let's whatever do that, it is. Whatever. The... Let's do this. Uh, no, that, we had to bring something there. What's the, I mean, what's the contract? I think it was to bring the metal bars there. Damn it. Don't you get a little secret when you want? You do. Yeah, I do. Three eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if only I picked this one to heal myself. That would have been funny. This is all getting edited out. I think I'm just going to pretend we can't. No, 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 Are you kidding me? You gotta show this everyone. Is this is the best part. My last stand. She's trying oh, to survive. I get survive. another card. She's been standing I for get the last another five card. minutes. So no, no shot has been used for Burgle. Damn it. 
Jen, stay in the frame while you, <laughs> while you melt down. <laughs> All right, what do I have? Four points to spend here? <laughs> Give me the explore. <sighs> Lord, please take Jen. Yes! <laughs> That's that on that. All right. There it is. So the game is finally over. It was a yeah. little bit of a grind. Um, there's kind of a very specific way to like do the end of the game. Gosh, uh, what made it a grind, Brandon? <laughs> was it mean, one, I got out first. Was it one person remaining in the game yeah. without an artifact? I you were trying to blame me. No. Um. <laughs> was it one person wasting <laughs> this game on and Never mind. It, it, in all honesty, like... I, did, I did not I, gain I, anything by actually, reading any of the things, except maybe doing this to help Ryan get out a little bit faster. Like, and, like I'm on, I, I try to be honest about the games we play on here. I think that was, I don't like that that took away your artifact. And, yeah. Like, right? It's kind of not your fault the game dragged on. Uh, I, I just think it was, I thought the, he could have, like, the least he could have done is just given me another artifact. Like, the only like, option you had was to go back for the shell, and there it's behind all these boots, and it's way down here. Yeah, like, you kind of got kinda blew. Yeah. You know what, you could have been you, but it wasn't. It was me. Maybe it was a, a, a learning moment where, like, if a contract requires you to have an artifact, probably assume you're going to be Needing giving up the artifact. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they didn't give us a satchel or anything to carry a second artifacts. So. No, no, we don't have that from original Clank, at least not yet. Um, okay, so, at the end of a game, we follow these six easy steps. Great. <laughs> uh, first is to fill out our mission report. Okay, so I know a minute ago I said don't add up our scores yet, but the first thing we do is add up our scores. So, cool. I'm just gonna do uh, it for fun. Yeah, oh, no, please, please do, by all means. Uh, so let's do some simple math, and we will probably fast forward this and be right there. That's it. That's how fast forwarding <laughs> works. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go in order on the mission report. Harold Stylish, how did you do? Well, I had 62 points, but they don't count. So I have wow, zero. Okay. So I'm going to, just for fun, write 62, cross it out, and give you a zero. Great. Oh, uh, Elton. <laughs> Elton John, how'd you do? I had 78 points. Oh, well, for Bulbo, I am uh, disappointed to announce that even with my 20-point beer, I had 51. Ooh. Yeah. Gimlet one more than me. frustrated that he had 74. Oh, close one. Good game, Elfton. Uh, you have won most valuable employee. Yes. It's good to feel appreciated in my place of work. <laughs> so reading on here. Fill in game scores. If you have not already filled in this associate spotlight column, then the epilogue passage you read in your next step will explain. So the next step is to read contracts and the epilogue passage. Passage six in the Book of Secrets. Can Jen? I read it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, have you yeah. read anything from the book? I read one thing. Okay. okay. I want to read another. Yeah. <laughs> uh, six? Yeah. Game one epilogue. The end of the adventure means the start of Form D slash N17, <laughs> documentation for filing of deeds, both noble and lucrative. The paperwork takes almost as long as the actual adventure, <laughs> but the moment you finish signing, it vanishes in a flash of democracy. <laughs> Actually, that's not the right word. Uh, but the moment you finish signing, it vanishes in a flash of documency. Documency. Like documency. necromancy or something. I like <laughs> The other way better. Um, you find in its place a business card. Acquisitions Incorporated, your application is under consideration. Allow one to six weeks for processing. In the meantime, you might as well clean up this old inn and turn it into a proper headquarters. This feels like the start of a very profitable endeavor. First bullet point. During the campaign, players can earn a place in the associate spotlight during each game by fulfilling the franchise's primary mission. This is a separate honor from being crowned most valuable employee for winning the game. The player who first returned to HQ and claimed their mug token earns the game associate spotlight. Enter that player's name in the associate spotlight column in your mission report sheet for game one. I did it. Bulbo is in the spotlight. Big deal. Go to a sticker, go to sticker sheet A group one. Apply stickers R20, 
R23, R25, and R32 to the rule book. These new rules are summarized at the right. These are the new rules. Some cards and tokens have an acquisition incorporated seal of excellence. You'll add seals to cards during the campaign. For each set of three seals of excellence you collect, you get 10 points and a check mark of grudging approval. The winner of this game chooses two cards from the adventure deck with blue name banners and applies mm -hmm. an official acquisitions incorporated seal of excellence sticker to each of them, just below any point symbol. They may choose cards that were purchased during the game. So you can use cards that were purchased. Okay. Leave the remaining stickers unused. Uh, go to token punch board one and retrieve the major secret tokens. Add them to the secret pool. Sorry, back it up. Token punch board one? Mm -hmm. So there's token punch boards in here somewhere. Yes. Uh, we've got all these. We have a big envelope that says X, do not open. Patron cards, token punch boards. This does feel like bureaucracy. Two. Here's one. We have a new artifact, uh, some new fancy and tokens. Add okay. them all to the secret pool. Players should keep their cubes and starting decks in their deck boxes between games. Come back next game for License to Shill or Charter Better, Faster, Stronger. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, we did it. We did it. Yay! All right, there's a little more paperwork to do. <laughs> and what do I get to do with the stickers? Uh, so the stickers... Oh, it was the we winner of the game, not the associate spotlight? Yeah, they get the, to apply. Oh, uh, okay, so you... So any two cards, basically, almost everything was about this game. So pretty much any two blue cards you can stick those stickers to. What do they do? Uh, in the future, every time you collect three of them during a game, like have them in your deck, you get ten points, and you get a check mark of grudging approval, which we're about to talk about. And I'm just putting two on right now. Yeah, on two, two different cards, I think. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we conduct employee reviews. Uh, does everyone have their box? Okay, so on one side of your box, you have this associate status track. This is where you earn check marks of grudging approval that kind of uh, show how well you're doing throughout the campaign. So each player marks the associate status track on their own deck box with one check mark of grudging approval for each of the following conditions they met in the game. Scoring more than zero points. Do I get to do it? No. No, you didn't score more than zero. Not for that, but you might get other ones. Yeah. Winning the game. Ryan, you get another one. And completing a row of personal goals on their deck box. So we actually kind of forgot about these during the game. Um, and did you complete any personal goals? I did not. I think I did. Jen, what did you... Uh... I have 25 plus cards in my deck. Okay, nice. That's just the one thing. So check that off. And you yeah. gotta check it I can check it off too. already? So yeah, you can check that box off on your goals side. Does that mean yeah, I don't get to do it again? Well, so... Not that side, right? right? Yeah, so right there. Go ahead. And then flip your box over, and since you completed a row of goals, you get a check mark here. But don't we do this every single game? Like, why would we check off this side? We don't do it every single game. It's throughout oh, it's the campaign. just one time. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. I see. Um, did you get anything else? Any other progress? Even if it's not like score the entire an row? an artifact worth 10 or less. Uh, you didn't score an artifact. Right. You didn't have one. Well, I, I had it. It was 11. <laughs> 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 that bitch stole it from me. The eggs don't count. Sorry, is an artifact? Okay. Uh, no. Okay. okay. Increase the rage level. Do you check off what you did do? I think each time that you did it. Do you know how many times you did that? Did, um, you, did you have any... I just think I only did it for... Um, not for that. For my artifact. Okay, so check off one box. One. And then heal a point of damage. I did that three times. Nice. And then possess three market items at once. I did that. You did, yeah. And then take a shrine token. What is that? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. I don't think the game has given us those yet. So, okay, so that's it. All right, so you get a check mark on the other side for completing Damn, one. Damn, you're killing goal. it. <laughs> nice. Uh, my goals were score a new artifact. I have to do it four times. So basically, I have to get four different artifacts. It tells me to note the value. I got the seven. So in the future, I want to get other numbers. Score a mug token. I get one progress out of three on there. Score 20 plus goal I did not. And defeat a Dran agent also makes no sense. Okay. Um, just just for sharesies, 
I have uh, take the first artifact of the game. I didn't do. Mm -hmm. Consume a potion. I didn't do. Touch five different spaces in one turn. Ooh. I didn't do. I almost did, but I didn't do. Um, sacrifice an intern. Also makes no sense. <laughs> Aren't right. we the intern? Yes, we are. <laughs> well, did you kill me? Well, that, that was the that was the that was the joke I made at the end of the game. You're not actually. Oh, we're not actually. Interns. You're not actually interns for the. The game's gonna introduce interns. And stuff. Oh, okay. that was just a coincidence, I guess. Yeah, oh, that's funny. That's very okay. strange. So, if you had reached any of these progress marks, you'd read the passage. Nope. Now we reset our decks. Any cards acquired from the reserve or adventure deck are returned. We won't do this now. We'll we'll clean up after. Uh, each player should end up with their original ten card starting deck. If any player scored zero points for this game, add an X to the Dran Enterprises track on the back of this rulebook. Add no more than one X, even if multiple players scored zero points. Uh, after adding the X, read entry 167 in the Book of Secrets. I think Jen better read that yep. since she is the X. Yeah. 127? 167, I thought. 167 is correct. So yeah, it's a kind of long track with some other things we'll read along it. Okay. You check off the casualty suffered box in your mission report, and a somber illusion of CEO Omen Dran manifests across the table. Losses are inevitable in this line of work. We truly appreciate your friend's sacrifice, but it would be bad business to let them just pass on. <laughs> Acquisitions Incorporated is making a significant investment in your franchise, and I'm not going to let a little death get in the way of reaping the benefits. One thing, though, don't expect your oh boy, don't expect <laughs> your fallen comrades to be quite themselves right away. <laughs> Recovery is a process, you know. Go to sticker sheet D, group twenty four. <laughs> Apply sticker R twenty eight to the rule book. It doesn't, doesn't say what it is. It doesn't have a summary. Nope. So this replaces in the future the check for player death step, mm -hmm. which says if any player scored zero points, add an X to the track. Mm -hmm. Each player who scored zero points will be affected by necrosis for the next game of the campaign. They each take a necrosis card from your filing cabinet and add it to their 10 card starting deck as an 11th card. When you play the next game, a player with necrosis should look for ways to trash it from their deck. If necrosis is still in their deck or hand or discard pile at the end of the game, it is worth negative 10 points. Then they return that to the filing cabinet. Jesus Christ! So Fuck that dude that <laughs> my sword! Oh my god! Oh, okay. Did this say whether you get necrosis right now? Oh, I do believe I do. <laughs> it is. Add the holy water cards to the adventure deck, which I'm guessing is a way to get rid of the oh, necrosis. Oh, yeah, okay. Distribute the necrosis cards as needed, which I'm, I'm oh. sure I need one. And uh, keep any remaining necrosis cards in your filing cabinet for future use. Oh, okay. What numbers? Does oh, uh, sorry, four through ten. Yeah, this is three copies of Holy Water. We can look at that next game. And, he, oh, okay, here's your Necrosis. It's actually, like, not all bad. Oh, all right, well, you know. Oh, yeah. If you heart this turn, trash this card. It is, it's a decent card, but it's minus 10 points. Yes. Yeah. So if, you just have to heal the turn that you play it? Like, find some other way to heal? Oh, okay. And that will trash the card. Sure. So I have to put that in my thing to start with next game. Yep, box. yep, so stick that in your box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ryan. Your potty mouth. I hate you mind. all. All right. That's it. Oh, no, of course, it stays in there. It goes in the filing cabinet. In the filing. It's oh, another... it's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll clean up properly. Uh, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bridget. This was. And thanks for nothing, <laughs> yeah. Duke Estrin. Uh, this was a long. Like, this is by far the longest first game of a legacy game I've ever played. Yeah, this there, shit was... I mean, now it's it's one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh. It started at about 9.30 maybe? I'm sorry. Yeah, this was extremely oh, lengthy. It's well, been 84 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get out of here. Uh, as of the time we're filming this, it's almost the holidays, so we'll probably pick this back up next year. Great. See you next uh, decade, Duke Gastrim. <laughs> Not if he sees you first. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the sword. <laughs> we will see you all, and you, and the Duke, next year. Thank you for watching, and until then, be optimal.